Hello, um, welcome to Jared's Corner, and um, I'm going to kind of talk about something uh, kind of deep, I guess, some could say. Um, it's about um, uh, friends, not just any of your friends, like uh, real friends, like who are your real friends? Um, I know many people on YouTube have already put something up on this, so I was like, really, what, uh, what, what can I add that's new? Um, I guess nothing really, but, you know, it doesn't ever hurt to uh, have it be heard again. Because, uh, I don't know, I've been thinking about it a lot lately, um, and I don't know, it just makes me think... Who are my real friends? Um, are they the ones that I've known throughout my whole life? And I grew up with? Uh, some of them, sure. Um, are they those that I've met within the last couple of months or years? Yeah, sure. Um, but then there's some that are like that, that you have, that you've known for a long time, like practically forever. Those that you've known... Not, at, not as long, but, you know, you consider them very good friends. Um, it, it just really depends. Uh, also, you know, with the Internet, on Facebook, we could have Internet friends, friends on the Internet. Um, could they be considered real friends? Um, maybe, maybe not. Uh, some I've talked to... I don't know personally, but, you know, share a common bond. You have a um, favorite movie or movie you like. Um, and I'm sorry, I'm looking at something else. Um, but, yeah, you look at, you, um, yeah, you have something in common, like your favorite movie, a favorite music artist, a rock, or not necessarily a rock band, but a band you like, could also be like a rap group, whatever, uh, book, book series, author, comic books, comic book characters, superheroes, um, you know, anything, you can like something, then you see some people comment on things, and then, you know, you and some of those people comment on a, lot of the, on a lot of the same things, and then eventually, you know, either you or them add you, and then, um, I'm sorry, um, yeah, they, uh, you add each other, and sometimes you talk, sometimes you don't, um, you know, and real friends are there for you to the end. Uh, you know, I, I've been busy a lot lately, so some of my friends uh, asked me for my help. I try to get it, um, but like uh, one, one of my friends, uh, since I'm into video production or filmmaking, because um, I want to be an actor and filmmaker and it, don't laugh, you know, everybody has a dream, you know, uh, I have gone to college last year, last semester, last year, I was, there's a lot of things in my personal life that were happening, so I was online, and I continued online throughout, off and on this year, I've been on, I have not been on, and, um, you know, doing school. Um, I'm volunteering at a, a, a local television place, station, yeah, television place, a television station. I can't even talk. That should be one thing. You make a video, you should be able to talk. And I'm not going to really edit this video just because, you know, it should be kind of, this type of stuff should kind of be like, you know, personal. And intimate, not necessarily have to edit every single thing. Um, it also makes me more, like, I guess, more human. I make mistakes. 
everyone makes mistakes. Some people make big mistakes, some people don't. And I'm lacking a tripod, so oh my arm's killing me. Sorry. Um, but so I'm using my arm. Uh, but yeah, anyway, uh, her boyfriend, like, you know, he has his own business. Uh, or, yeah, and he wanted a commercial made. I'm like, all right, sure, I'll help because, you know, my schedule is, as I thought, was clear. Uh, however, it turned out I was going to be doing something like I help. Uh, I help out with some people that associate with them some businesses and stuff that want stuff done and I didn't realize it was this month which is April right now I thought it was next month which is May and my birthday is in May so I'm kind of glad it was the next month I mean I could help with the next month but I don't know all that was kind of really exhausting and I don't really want to go through that again, I mean, I guess if you saw, I, I would comment on videos on YouTube, that'd be like little breaks and stuff, like when I would get home and stuff, like I would have, I'd watch a bunch of YouTube videos or movies and stuff, and so some of the videos I would see, I would have comments, but I'm like, ah, I don't know, I'm really tired. I get that tomorrow, and I would get them, and I would kind of go out and out and out and out, out and yeah. Anyway, uh, I was really busy, but I've been in contact with some people because I've, you know, kind of like want to see if I could kind of excuse me, I'm itchy, um, but I wanted to see if I. You know, I wanted to see if I could kind of like, you know, volunteer over at another local production company in town. And, you know, yeah. you know, at the moment, not right now, but um, that's okay. I could kind of try again or someplace else. Um, there are some video places in Des Moines I could look into. Why am I itchy? I don't know. This is a nice video, right? Yeah, I'm talking about friendship and I'm scratching. This is what you all wanted to see. Um, but, yeah, you know, the point is, like, uh, I wasn't able to help. So, I'm like, yeah, here's the number of the place I'm trying to I was talk uh, the guy I was talking to, who has like a production company and uh, could probably help you out. I don't know how much you would pay, or yeah, not pay, but how much his fee is. Um, but you know they're all right. You know, because they, they, there's some videos on the website, and from what I saw, they're pretty legit. So I'm like, you know, here's the number. Email, there you go. Uh, I'm really sorry. I, I thought I was free, and I wasn't. Um, so you know, I I think of myself as a good person. You know, I guess in that, where they're like, I help somebody. I, it was like I was busy, but I there there was a way I could help. I knew I could help, and I helped. What, uh, and it seems she said to me, like, you know, because I was talking to her, like, uh, he, he, he's got that under control, like, he's getting it done, I'm like, thank God, because I'm like, I, I felt really bad, because I, I, I pretty much promised I was going to help out, um, which, you know, I did, but I was going to help out with the filming and everything, but... Stupid shit. But, well, well, it wasn't stupid. I got some experience. Uh, and yeah, it was like a local business thing. I could, uh, somebody has been trying to tr find something interesting and they like to go a couple months every so often. 
get some people that uh, local uh, television stations or film companies and then get some people and I was paid I was like paid 60 bucks a week so but yeah anyway I I was I helped out and that was I was a production assistant and bottom line I was a good friend Am I a real friend to her? I hope so. You know, I've known her for a couple of years, and we we've become very we became very good friends. And you know, I'll help her. She helps me. And we'll help. We help each other out. You know, I'm bottom line is I was there for her and for her boyfriend, and I helped it. I helped him by directing him to somebody who would be able to help with his project commercial yeah same thing uh, whether he used that person or whether he directed him to somebody else who would be able to help bottom line is I because things were going smoothly it seemed like with commercial wise I was able to say I helped a friend and I hope she considers me a real friend because I consider her a real friend because she's helped me too um, with little it, like, you know little things things you wouldn't really think like, um, yeah, I'm blanking right now but uh, you know and um, yeah, in a couple of days a friend of mine and I are going to meet up and we're going to write a some scripts because I have some ideas for uh, film, two films. We're gonna write those, and I um, I wrote a script that's finished. We might make that first, and we would keep writing. And yeah, so and I'm lucky. You know, I'll help you with uh, what you need to do to be successful. And he supports me, and she supports me too. She wants me to succeed also she kind of wants to be an actress too so uh, we're, we're helping each other out but oh I have these are just examples of real friends you know uh, you know this, this the dream we I have also they share of being in movies may sound ludicrous to some of you people but you know that's not the point real friends support you in whatever your dream is they want you to succeed. Now, I've had friends who were kind of in there for the beginning, kind of bailed. Some of them I haven't talked to in a while. That's both my fault and theirs. You know, we could have communicated, but we both been busy. But, you know, um, mine is we still could have, I'm sure. I know I had free time, which I could have used to help, but I was with my hanging out with my family and uh, and just relaxing and hanging out with some friends too that I've known for a long time since friends who I've been fr people I've been friends with since birth yeah um, but you know your real friends will stick with you no matter what even if they say also, if they think your idea of becoming a filmmaker or an actor like I want to be, or a journalist, or a football player, basketball player, a congressman, a president, governor, astronaut, which, yeah, yeah, astronaut, physicist, you know, whatever you want to do, your real friends, while they will support you. There may be some things where you don't. You should really do this. You should go in this direction. You know, you don't have to, but you might. I mean, you might at least you know want to look in the, at this. Like they'll help you try to get to the direction you, you want to go to in life. Like for your, whatever your goals are, 
and you should do be the, do the same to your friends too. They do that for you, you do that for them. I do that to my friends. I support them. The, f the friend I'm gonna meet with this week, he wants to be a writer, actor, director, also filmmaker, and also as well as a rapper. And I've heard some of his stuff as a rapper, and he's pretty good. Um, he's really good. You know, he keeps at it. He could, you know, have some great success. Um, the thing is, you have to keep working at whatever your goals are. Your, fr your real friends will be there and support you. Your fake friends will say they're for you, but, and, you know, maybe they will, too. Some of them will, but maybe they want something out of it, not just... I mean, everybody wants something out of something, but using you is what I'm trying to get at. You know, two friends I have, I just mentioned, uh, yeah, I'll help. One's could say, well, they're kind of using you so they could be like an actress and an actor and do their own thing. But we've basically, I don't know, it seems like we'll collaborate because my friend, she offhandedly said, like, oh, well, I'm going to be like the main character in all of your movies, or basically she'll be in all of my movies. Uh, like, Samuel L. Jackson and Quentin Tarantino, or Johnny Depp, Tim Burton, or Helena Bonham Carter and Tim Burton, and uh, Martin Scorsese, and Robert De Niro, and Leonardo DiCaprio, and other collaborations like that. Um, and, you know, if, if I do get a film career, acting career started, yeah, I'll cast them in my movies. I'm going to cast myself in every film I ever make because, you know, uh, I'm the writer, and I choose this role. And if you don't like it, if I, like if I'm not going to direct it, if you don't like it, then you aren't going to direct it. Or I might direct it myself, depending on how I feel. Um, but I'm going to direct one of the films, and I have friends who are supporting me have basically from the day I mention it and you know internet friends too your internet friends if you talk to them like I've got I've talked to some people recently and you know we've talked about a few things I've kind of mentioned that stuff and they said oh, good for you you keep do what you need to do that's basically do what you need to do don't go and, fall. like, if you, you know, if there's a profession you need to go to college for, there's no other alternative, yeah, go to college, all right? Um, if you don't, uh, I'm not saying don't go to college, even if your career doesn't, you know, you don't need to, a college education to, be an actor. You don't need a edu college ed education to necessarily be a filmmaker like Quentin Tarantino. He dropped out of school and he look where he is now. Uh, Eminem, Tupac Shakur, Biggie Smalls. I'm I'm just naming people. They dropped out of school. I'm not telling you to drop out. You know, don't drop out of school. But you know they didn't go to college. Uh, uh, but you know I went to college. I've off and on this school year and I don't know if I'll go next year. I'm thinking about it. I might, but you know, if things start rolling, if they pick up like they have been currently, I will. I will go. Uh, I might not, but I don't even know what I'm saying now. I, I might not go. Um, uh, but, you know, who knows? I'm not saying I won't for sure because something could happen and I might need to go back to school for more education and of uh, film. Uh, I know a good deal about movies. I watch a lot of behind the scenes stuff. I like acting. <coughs> uh, I, like, I like to watch interviews with the actors and stuff. Uh, I've imitated 
actor's voice and facial expressions. Probably think I'm ret I'm stupid right now, or retarded, or both. Whatever. Aren't we all in our own way? Um, but yeah, your friends will be there. Your real friends will be there. Definitely. And how long is this? Yeah, well, I, I wanted to try to keep this short, but your real friends will be there for you no matter what, and you should be there for your real friends too. Uh, I was with mine. Even if you aren't able necessarily to directly be there for your friends, like I was, if you're able to help out in a way, help out. Don't just be like, like you know, you know in your head, I could help out. I could do this. I could have this person or that person or these people to help them out. I might be able to get something out of them. Later. Don't do that because that's how you lose friends. Real friends will be there for you till the end. And this video may have turned out really shitty, you know. Uh, I didn't really prepare anything. I just watched a bunch of those videos today just to try and get a very good idea of what I'm saying. I hope my, um, what I was trying to say, what my mean message was about your real friends will be there for you no matter what. Your fake friends will desert you, even if you've known them your whole life. You think they are your true friends, because that's another thing. It's, friends... People are deceptive. Just when you think you know somebody, turns out you don't. Because then they turn around, like, and stab you in the back. Like when your back is turned, they turn into backstabbers. Sometimes they, they're with you, and if you have a dream, like if you want to run a business or whatever, they do this, they might just steal some little tricks you give them. And then, what happens? They, they have their own business or they've somehow taken over yours and then you're out on the street one way or your company's going down and you may have to declare bankruptcy and a lot of shit go, uh, goes wrong and you know I wouldn't want to see that happen to anybody um, nothing that diabolical has ever happened to me but I, there have been people who have come in and out of my life and there are some friends who I haven't talked to in a while that I want to talk to. You know, I know they're busy. Now, that's another thing. You don't know, like, with, with, when you... Ugh, sorry. You don't necessarily know when someone is busy or not when, you know, you haven't talked to them in a while. Um, I'm just going to have to call some of them just to see, like, what's up. And if they reply, perhaps we can dart off again. Because, you know, life happens and... Some friends come and go out of your life. And it's kind of sad when that happens, but it's true. And not everybody's prepared. And, you know, sometimes you have to, something like that happens. Like your best friend could... Um, be with you for like many many years and then eventually they're gone and you don't know why and they don't tell you why uh, seen it happen you know shit sucks shit hurts you know if you don't want to be friends with somebody at least have the decency to tell them why tell them the exact reasons why Maybe they become like a douchebag. And then give them a chance if you explain to them why you're thinking of ending your friendship with them. You know, maybe give them a chance to improve themselves. And all, whatever it is they have a problem with, you have a problem with them with. And then, you know... You know, sometimes you should give people like a, a second chance and 
Now, some people are a bit kind-hearted people, so you might give them a third chance, maybe a fourth. If they were, were a really good friend, I might give them a fourth chance, but that's just me. I'm a nice person. After that, no. Nah, we could be friends again, you know, it might take a while, but, you know, after a while, sure, then we could rebuild that friendship, but not right away. No. It's going to take time. <coughs> losing a friend is hard. It's kind of like a relationship, losing a girlfriend's hard. Or if your ladies out there are boyfriends. My, all of my relationships have never really lasted that long, so really not have it been really that hard for me. Maybe some uh, could relate to me. I don't know. I'm not assuming people could, but you know, people come and go out of your life. Some people will stay with you thick and through and will help you out as much as you help them. Because friendship, relationships, marriage, any type of relationship, it's Give and take. You know, yes, you take some of the nice things that your friends give to you, but then you give some back, because that's not a one-way street. It's a you know, two-way. That's uh, dirty, and but you know what I mean. It goes one way, and comes what goes around comes around. If you're a dick, there will be a dick to you, but if you're a nice person, it will be nice to you, and cycle goes on until the cycle is broken and you may have to fix it and sometimes it's unfixable or very difficult to fix and I'm just rambling at this point but basically your real friends will be there with you till the end friends you know in, in person friends you know on the internet Wh whoever your f real friends are they will be with you till the end. And for your fake friends, fuck them. They won't be with you till the end. They'll just desert you when it when it's really convenient for them. Uh, you know, some of them, like I said, use you or use people. Uh, I don't know why anyone would really use me. I'm not really that useful for things. I mean, some things I am useful for, but um, that's not the point. Um, yeah, some people just like to use others, and that's just sick and twisted. But your real friends will be there for you till the very end, and those are the people you should care about. Drop the other fuckers that are not important as you eventually realize, and you start to sort yourself you know, some, if you haven't talked to some of your friends in a while, you may want to try to re rekindle those friendships. But if you can't, you know, I don't know, maybe they weren't really your friends to begin with. Uh, that's happened to me. But, you know, I think that happens to everybody. Some people are just kind of too blind to see it, and they just need to wake up. So if you see this, I hope this helps you. If it didn't help you, oh, I'm sorry for wasting your time. Um, uh, but your real friends will be there till the very end. And you be a real friend. I will continue being a real friend to those who I love very dearly that I've known for however long I've known them. And if I'm a very good, dear, good friend to them, I hope they are a good dear friend to me uh, and I have friends that are like that and will be friends until the very end um, I hope the same is for you and I'll see you later I hope maybe maybe not I don't know yeah either way see you later peace